The president began this holiday, no surprise, on Twitter, sending a happy Thanksgiving message to the country and recounting some of his top priorities. He will also send good wishes to the men and women in uniform later today via video conference from Mar-a-Lago. But for a couple of veteran lawmakers in Congress for decades, this holiday is anything but carefree. Overnight, the longest serving Texas congressman, Republican Joe Barton, turned the tables on an embarrassing episode and says he may be the victim of a potential crime, revenge from a broken sexual relationship. After a nude selfie and intimate messages were exposed all over the internet, the 32 year veteran of Congress responded to a new Washington Post report and confirmed that U.S. Capitol Police are investigating how Barton's most private image and words spilled into public view. The Post cites an unnamed woman who provided a secret audio recording. She claimed a five-year sexual relationship with the congressman. She said she believed Barton was involved with other women, contacted them, and shared materials he had sent her. And said Barton warned he would report her to police if she revealed intimate details. NBC News has not verified her account. Overnight, the congressman responded. This woman admitted that we had a consensual relationship. When I ended that relationship, she threatened to publicly share my private photographs and intimate correspondence in retaliation. Hours earlier, Barton acknowledged he had sexual relationships with what he called mature adult women during a separation and apologized for his judgment. Still another politician under new scrutiny. Michigan Democrat John Conyers denies allegations made by two women of sexual harassment. Now a third, a former committee staffer, Melanie Sloan, is making a different accusation, harsh treatment. He became increasingly verbally abusive and would berate me loudly. Sloan, an ethics lawyer, worked for Conyers on the House Judiciary Committee in the mid-90s. His lawyer says Conyers maintains his innocence and will not resign. I'd been called to come up and he was walking around in his underwear and uh, I was just so shocked. Representative Conyers has the honorific title of being the dean of the house, serving more than 52 years. His lawyer says if allegations force people to require, a lot of people would be out of work in this country. The Michigan Democrat plans to have a news conference about all this after the holiday break. Chanel, Craig. Uh, all right, Kelly, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.